Welcome back everybody. My name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Today we're going to do a review of a 2022 Renegade Valencia 38 BB. But before we get started, let's say hello to Abby. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. Abby, as always, thanks for helping out with the camera. My pleasure. Let's get started. So the Renegade Valencia is built on the S2 RV chassis. It's a Freightliner built down in Gaffney, South Carolina, where they build the custom chassis for diesel pushers. Nice. So this is a custom chassis modeled after the Freightliner M2 chassis, which is a regular road tractor chassis. They put the 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel in this, and that's rated at 360 horsepower, 800 foot pound-feet of torque. Wow. And they pair that up to the Allison 3000 transmission, and this guy can tow 12,000 pounds. Nice. So we'll do the tire size, cargo capacity, and we will do the outside, and we'll jump on the inside. All right. So this one has Bridgetone tires, and they are 295, 75, R22.5, and they are on really nice Accuride alloy wheels. All right, so the cargo carrying capacity on this coach is 7,919 pounds. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. Very cool. Thanks, Jimmy. All right, so this has full body paint. A couple things that I really like about this it is a fiberglass front cap. They also have fiberglass transitions here that are going to take you from the cab to the build. You got your entry door here, full body paint with the power Gerard awning with an LED light. Beautiful. Water heater right here and your outside entertainment. Very important. Very nice TV with a sound bar. Cool. Great First for entertaining. Dual hinged dual latch doors and they really finish these steel compartments off nice with carpeting. I like this it. This is where they house your new hybrid 3000 watt inverter. Very nice. And you got your They're all going to be lit with LED lights yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> I love how these that. doors shut. Next compartment going to be a lot bigger. You do have a GFI outlet in this compartment as well as an LED light. Very nice. Get all your patio mat and your folding chairs and all that in there. And I listen to how this sounds. Sounds like a car door, doesn't it? Yeah. I love that. You got your propane furnace right there. Next compartment. Now this one goes under the frame rail a little bit, mm -hmm. so it's going to give you a little bit more storage than the other compartments. These are your travel bars. That's your air compressor hose because there is a connection for the air compressor on the other side. Another LED light. Nice. Love that. Bunk bed windows. Gotta love that. You can see up above the uh, propane furnace, there's a vent for your washer and dryer. Or that's actually for the dryer, but. You ruined the surprise. Huh? You ruined the surprise. No, that's not a surprise. <laughs> All right, so another compartment here. Now this one does have your remote propane hookup, so you can grill off of your main tank. Oh, cool. Another LED light. Love how they shut. Last compartment here. <laughs> More storage with an LED light. Now this has a bunk and wardrobe slide and a living room slide on the other side. Two slide outs. All of your slide outs are going to have slide toppers. You do have a full fiberglass roof on this model as well. All right, coming around to the back. Two piece cap. I love this. You got a large cap piece up top and then a smaller bumper piece on the bottom. The reason they do it in two pieces is in case you were to take a hit in the back, you can replace just the lower section. You don't have to worry about the top section. Um, you do have a 12,000 pound hitch with the seven pin connector. Very nice. Nice. Exhaust for the generator comes out the back. I like that they do that. No exhaust going underneath of the slide out. And you do have your backup camera up top there. Very cool. And I get to check my makeup. Looking good. That's really shiny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, first compartment on the driver's side. You have your power cord reel. I love this. You just press a button, retracts your power cord. You do have your auto transfer switch with the built-in surge guard. Another LED light. They're giving you an electrical step down from 50 to 30 amp and another GFI outlet. Very cool. That is your Onan AKW quiet diesel generator. More than enough to run everything in this coach. Very nice. So above this is, this is the reason they built the S2 RV chassis. This is built for RVs. You have one diesel filled right here for the 100 gallon tank instead of having twin 50 gallons with an Equiflow tube. So I like that feature. Not that the saddlebags are bad, but you can always go to the truck stop and fill with the satellite pumps from either side at 30 gallons a minute. So it's not bad. This just makes it easier to get it all in one shot. There's your wet bay. In there you have the full house filtration, a low point drain. There's a power hose reel. So this is the hose. Press that button, it retracts it in. You have a spigot right here for the sprayer. You have your black and your gray dump valves, your black tank flush, your park cable, and your tank or your water diverter for the city water and tank fill. Nice. And this is where you store your sewer tube. It's a nice wet thing. I like it. Oh, one thing I didn't show. They hydro cut the labels into this. That's not a sticker or a decal that can fall off with water. They actually hydro cut that with a water jet. It's really nice. Very cool. Next two compartments are your waste tanks. They are two 75 gallon waste tanks, both black wow. and gray, 75 gallons each. And you have 150 gallons under the, of fresh water under the bed. One thing that I really like about how they do their wet bay, right here there's a spin out underneath of your sewer connection. So if you take that cap off, that spin out can be out. Water would drip onto the ground instead of into your compartment. Then you can hook the hose on and take it out this spin out over here. Cool. Here's your other slide out. All frameless windows throughout here. This one is your propane tank. For those propane needs? You got it. And you see these two cables over here, Abby? Usually you they're see? not out in the open. You can't really see those. Those are purges, purge valves for the air tanks. So sometimes condensation will get into the tanks and you just pull those purge valves and it'll let any condensation out. Wow. And it's really nice. Right here, you have your truck and your house batteries. They do have an isolator switch for your truck battery. And all the way back in the corner is your compressor hookup. And that's an 18.7 cubic foot per minute compressor. And it'll do up to 120 PSI. Wow. Very nice. You fill your rafts or your bike tires or whatever you want. DEF fill right here or your diesel exhaust fluid. And then you do have an engine block heater right here. Really nice power heated mirrors up top and the blind spot mirrors on the bottom. They're manual. And you can flip your hood forward here to be able to do any service. And you do have side view and backup cameras. Abby, that's the outside of this beautiful coach. Let's go take a look at the inside. All right, let's go. All right, Abby, come on in. With the slide outs closed, I want you to show everybody how you can get to the refrigerator, bathroom, and the bedroom. All right. Slides are in. Oh, no, no problem here. Access to the fridge, access to the back bedrooms, and bathroom. Looking awesome. good, Jimmy. Let's open it up and we'll show them everything else. Let's do it. All right, let's start the cab and we'll work our way back. All right. So a couple things that are new. For 2022, they have redesigned the front seats for the Valencia. They have really nice head pillows, side bolsters, and leg bolsters now. These seats are super comfortable. Oh, they look it. Really like it. Mm -hmm. So you got your Freightliner S2 RV dash, which is gonna be very similar to the M2. This does have tilt and telescoping wheel. They do give you a brake Ooh. controller, which is right below the steering wheel there. This does have air horn and regular horn. The Allison 3000 transmission and your Garmin tablet right here that's removable. That does have the ability to put in an RV profile, so you can put in your height, your weight, and propane, and it'll route you around any restrictions. Wow, that's awesome. Directly below that, you have your equalizer, hydraulic auto leveling system. That's a four-point leveling system. And there's an EQ Smart Level app where you can download that and level from your phone. Very nice. This also has an engine brake in it, which is nice. Very nice, I like All it. All right. 
Directly above that, you have a really nice bunk over the cab. This does extend out and you can push the cushions up so you can sleep two adults up there. But when you're not sleeping, push that forward so you can walk in and out of the cab without hitting your head on that. That's a really nice feature. This does have the optional bunk over the cab TV. Cute. All of your audio visual is right there. I dig that. Really nice. Sharp. It's, it's got a ladder. There's a couple speakers up here. Mm -hmm. They're really nice speakers too, JBLs. Solid hardwood throughout. I really like that. Got your TV right over the entry door with the nice. sound bar built in. And that's directly across from the trifold sleeper sofa. Yep, that's a good placement. Perfect for it. location. Now that's on a swing arm. If I pull this strap down, I can swivel this around in either direction. So if you're sitting at the dinette, no problem seeing it from there either. All right, everybody, here's where I need your help. This channel is about bringing you awesome new product like this and taking your feedback back to the manufacturers. So do me a favor, leave me some feedback in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. All right, really nice solid surface countertops in the kitchen area. And this one has it. Hey. Now, they could have done that on the other one. I don't know why they didn't do that. This one has the wastebasket. Yep, out. We're smart. Gonna to, we're gonna have to tell them about that one. <laughs> Really nice sink here with the residential pull-out sprayer faucet. That's a pretty Beautiful. good size sink. Mm -hmm. Kitchen window, really nice glass tile backsplash with the convection microwave oven. That's there a she is, too. yeah. You got some soft closed drawers here. Good amount of storage over top of here. And on top of the microwave. Very cool. And then right here, Abby, is all of your 110 breakers and 12 volt fuses. So the fuses are here, the breaker boxes are here. Now the reason they do two breaker boxes is because one of the breaker boxes shows you what you can run off of the inverter with the mm -hmm. batter, and then the other one would be your shore power generator box. This whole coach is run off of the Firefly system, and the cool part about that very user friendly. It does have a mobile app that you can run all of that from your phone. It's called Vega Touch Mira. Very cool. Nice three burner gas cooktop. Love that. And I like how tight they make these. No rattling. No rattling. You got it. Nice no residential refrigerator. Look at how big that refrigerator oh, is. Wow. I love it. With the ice maker. Very nice. A ton of storage over top. See if you can see that little white valve in there. You see that? I do see it. That's a shut off to the water feed for the ice maker for winterization. Oh, okay. They make it really easy to get out. Some people hide it. It makes it really difficult to find. <gasps> there it is. washer and dryer. Very nice. And they put them on their own shelf. I like that because if you have to remove one, you don't have to remove the other to get it out. Over here, you We're got learning, your, guys. <laughs> yeah. Over here, you got your dream dinette, and there are drawers under both of those seats. Cool. I love that. It's really you beautiful have, dinette. Very. I like how they curve this. Yeah. Because now you can sit with your back Classy. in the corner. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Euro style. There's going to be panels like this throughout. All they are is remote access to this. And anything that has an up and a down arrow, which is all of these, anything with the up and down is dimmable. Oh, cool. I really like that. Yeah, I'm really liking their sconce in there light fixtures. Yep. Very nice. And how they put their name in the slide fascia there. Very nice. Let's venture back. All right, let's do it. You got a pocket door right here, Abby. We have like pocket doors. You got a pocket door here and a pocket door at the bedroom so that you have your own bedroom for the bunk beds. Wow, it's I huge like back here. Yeah, these are big bunks. You they can get are. an adult in these. And you have light switches for the little bunk lights. You have 110 with USBs. And they have their own TVs with built-in DVD players. Now, these are not just monitors. You actually can get park cable and digital antenna to those. You have one down here as well. Very nice. Very nice. Those I windows like are, are actually pretty big, too. Yeah, they open, too, and they have day and night shades. Then you got your bathroom over here. I really like this. Look. <laughs> soft close lids. Porcelain toilet, pedal flush with the resin lid, and that's soft close. You got toilet paper holder, towel holder, lots of storage up here. Tons. And countertop space for all of Abby's products. I don't know. Some of Abby's <laughs> products. Got a drawer right there, a little storage area right there. And Very cool. Let's see. What do you think? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Come on in. Oh, you'll definitely fit in here. Mm. Jimmy. Abby. You fit. Get the skylight. Oh, we're locked in. 
<laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? If you don't like Somebody help us out. I would get out some way. <laughs> oh, you ain't climbing over there. You got a soap dish here, a little shampoo right there, and even a little touch to shave your legs. See how like much room you have around your head. I got tons. tons. I got like a foot and a half. I'm only 5'8", so somebody that's six, six plus foot, no, no problem uh, hanging out in there. Yep, and you can fit two adults. Yep. Oh, but maybe not right here. <laughs> not in the bathroom, but while the door is opening and closing. <laughs> All right, so you do have a, a regular swinging door. Oh, well, I'm, I don't know why they did that. They could have definitely put a pocket door there. Yeah. Uh, they could have put a sliding pocket door there, or maybe because it's on an angle because of the bunks. I'll let them go on that because they gave me two other pocket doors. King bed, love the king bed. Now this is a modified king bed. It's not a 72 by 80. I want to say it's like a 66 by 75, but a pretty good size bed. Tons of storage. Yeah. Of that. Holy cow, look at that. They're tall. Lots of reading lights and very tall. Mm -hmm. And you got a touch pad up there. I love that. Nightstands on either side with 110 outlets. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So 110 with USB on both sides. I love that. This is a great little bedroom back here. This. Hanging closet. You can remove this one for your longer stuff, but there's a bar there and there. And another hanging closet over here. So wow. we got hers, 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 and hers. You're learning. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Three drawers there, one there. That's your audio visual behind the glass. And then another storage compartment there. That's and there's absolutely your beautiful. television right there. Very nice. So I think we have a 32 outside, 39 in the living room. I'm not sure the size in the bunker or the cab, but this is 32 as well. 150 gallons of fresh water under the bed. And I love this mirror. It makes it feel much bigger in here. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right, yep. Abby, let's give them a once through. All right. And we will wrap this up. She's hot and she's available, guys. Bunk beds. Gotta love it. All right, everybody, that is the 2022 Renegade Valencia 38BB, still available. If you want to know more, you can text, call, or email me. Information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Please subscribe.